are several causes to subglottic or tracheal stenosis. One of the more common causes is what we call traumatic, which occurs when a breathing tube is placed into the airway to assist with respiration. This can cause scarring in this area. Other causes can be related to systemic diseases like Wegener's granulomatosis or other rheumatologic conditions. There is also a cause of subglottic stenosis, which we call idiopathic. It is a type that we don't know what the underlying cause is, but commonly affects females in the Middle Ages. There is also congenital causes of subglottic stenosis or tracheal stenosis as well, meaning things that you're born with. 